this point, I don't know what the hell is going on in WWE right now. Um, literally, I'm working on videos from the In The Clutch page. And I'm checking my phone. And I'm checking Twitter. And I'm seeing reports that WWE sold to Saudi Arabia. And then you guys are hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter. And there's a whole bunch of memes of WWE being sold to Saudi Arabia. And I'm just like, what's happening here? Like, can someone explain to me what the hell's going on? Literally just a few hours ago, Stephanie McMahon McMahon stepped down. And now the company is supposedly have been sold already to the Saudi Arabians? What what's happening? This is insane. We're gonna check out an article, Wrestling Inc. Let me pull it up for you guys and see what the hell is going on here. WWE reportedly sold to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. Good God Almighty. WWE has reportedly been sold to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. According to Stephen, I'm not even going to pronounce his last name, of the zone, WWE will go back to being private for the first time since the promotion became a publicly traded company in October of 1999. Uh, Stephen further tweeted, It's unknown if Vince McMahon will return to head of creative, but is expected by by some people good god almighty the news comes hours after stephanie mcmahon announced her resignation as chairwoman and co-ceo following which a wwe press release confirmed that vince mcmahon has been unanimously elected as the executive chairman of the board the talk of potential wwe sales picked up steam last friday after the formerly retired vince mcmahon uh, the controlling shareholder of wwe reinstated himself to wwe's board of directors and announced that the company was prepared to undertake strategic alternatives with the goal to maximize value for all wwe shareholders the statement was widely interpreted as mcmahon's intention to sell the wwe Subsequently, financial analysis suggested media giants such as Comcast, Disney, Endeavor uh, Group Holdings, Amazon, and Netflix as potential suitors to purchase the world's biggest wrestling promotion. While there uh, was chatter about Saudi Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund entering the fray as a bidder, the latest being odds, uh, the latest betting odds released Tuesday predicted Comcast as the leading suitor to pull off. A sale of WWE. WWE has yet to confirm the zone's report of its sale to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. Yo, this is in fucking sane. Now, this is still just a rumor, but a lot of people are starting to run with this, and a lot of people are, are kind of going with the basis that it would make sense if Vince McMahon would sell to Saudi Arabia's uh, public investment fund. Um, Obviously, they've been doing business with the Saudi Arabian uh, uh, government for the past few years. That's why we've been having uh, the two shows per year over there in Saudi Arabia. But this is just what the hell. And it kind of, I guess, makes sense why maybe Stephanie decided to step down because she knew what was coming down the pipeline. Now, granted, the only positive and this may be a small positive, a very small one is WWE won't be a publicly traded company. When they became public, they had to abide by certain shareholders. They had to abide by certain guidelines because now they're a publicly paid, traded company, which means they have investors and investors put their money into the company and they want to make sure they get it back. And if investors are upset with what's happening, what's being shown on television, what's being said, they have the right to address their concerns because obviously they're investing into the company so they have a say so but before they were privately traded so they literally was pushing the envelope and doing whatever they want back then if you guys remember the attitude there it was whatever they felt like doing that's what they did so that could be the slight positive is you may get some edgier content but then there's a big negative in the saudi arabian uh public investment fund 
run well not running but owning wwe and all their rights uh media rights and stuff like that and if that's the case then vince mcmahon doesn't really have to i can see vince mcmahon taking over creative control and literally doing whatever he wants he can literally put on roman reigns versus brock lesnar every single match <laughs> well every night for months or it could be every main event <laughs> for the rest of the year he could do that because guess what who's they there's no there's no uh public investors he can put whatever he wants on the show they can ask for vince to put whatever they want on the show because it's a privately it's a private company now they're going private so they can put whatever they want on there and it doesn't matter who it offends so there, there's some big negatives here and i i just i thought comcast would have been a surefire thing i mean we already used the peacock network to stream a lot of the wwe um documentaries to obviously the the shows the uh, the pay-per-view events or the ple events um they have uh, like a lot of w pretty much wwe's catalog is on the peacock network so you would think comcast would have been the one to buy them no or NBC Universal. I mean, I think that's they're they're aligned with Comcast, but no, that that didn't happen. That is really wild. I I don't even know what to say. There's people messaging me right now saying, "Yo, I'm done. I'm, if this is really true, I'm done. I can't watch the product no more." And I understand. I understand your concerns. This is I, this is fucking insane, bro. We're. <laughs> It seems like every time I turn off the camera, edit a video, post it, something crazier even happens backstage or behind the scenes uh, with WWE. So, I, yeah, man, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Hopefully, this is not the case and maybe they sold to somebody else. But it's looking like a lot of people are believing this potential rumor. And I don't know. If I had to really think about it, I could believe this being true as well. So, my question to you guys is, comment down below let me know if these rumors are true. Are you guys still going to support WWE? Are you guys still going to watch it? Does it change how you view the product? Are you guys excited that it's going back, potentially going back public? Or are you guys not really rocking with Saudi Arabia as a public investment fund buying it, buying WWE? Like, are you concerned that maybe Vince McMahon now will get even more power creatively? He can literally do whatever the hell he wants because he doesn't have to impress and appease investors. But like, what? What? Like, let me know how you guys are feeling right now. Or do you guys not even believe this rumor? Let me know down below. Um, but I appreciate all the love and support. I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ. And um, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Hopefully, there's no other news, at least until tomorrow or maybe a couple of days from now. Jesus, this is just getting insane.